Okay guys, I think I figured out what the problem was. You might have got the same error as me. Uh, from from what I found is you can't have a JPEG or PNG file with a capital letter. Um, so basically that if that happens, it'll delete your R Java file. And it won't. It'll just completely bug out your system and you get all these errors. So basically I, what I did is I just went back to the file I saved in as I change it to um, a lowercase b and put a uh, underscore in there and so hopefully that will change it I'm just going to uh, clean the project and hopefully you get those errors to erase okay good see and we got our, our, our Java file back so just make sure you keep everything lowercase now basically I'm gonna run through um, how to work your emulator or your uh, that we set up er earlier um, I called it droid droid X so basically you, you click on your main folder and right click and go run as Java application and if you have your phone plugged in um, that will also come up and you can run it on your actual phone but here's the emulator that pops up um, and it takes a while for it to load so I'm just gonna let that load and we're gonna kinda walk through uh, the main my main Java and also you're gonna open up your layout and this is the XML file here are your two files your Java file and your XML file explain kind of give you a walkthrough of what this means and how you can add to it just so you can kind of mess around for your XML file there's two options at the bottom graphical layout and your XML Graphical layout will basically show you what's going to look like on your phone application. It says hello world my main. Basically uh, I haven't done any programming yet so that's what it's going to look like. And we're, I'm just going to talk you through a little bit of XML. Like I said this automatically came up. And we'll kind of go into detail about commands um, a little bit later. But here's your text view. As you can see uh, there is text on the screen so basically text view means it's going to be text and then the layout will be fill parent there's also wrap content fill parent and you can also set it at how many pixels you want they, they have it as fill parent which make basically means the width is going to take up oops I'm sorry it's going to take up the whole width as you see like when I scroll over it it takes up the whole width that is available and height is going to wrap the content so it's going to wrap the the text but see let's just say we want to change that to fill parent now it's not going to change your text but we're going to save this so when we go to the graphical layout scroll over it see now how it highlights the whole screen top to bottom so we're, um, these are just some simple commands and again we're going to go to uh, wrap content and just save it um, again it's just right there basically um, this is a linear layout so it's going to go top to bottom when you add more objects or more text basically this is going to display the same thing right below it because again it's a text there's two um, and basically right here this is the Android text this is what's displaying on the screen and you're like no uh, that's not what's displaying on the screen this is what is displaying and then we're gonna save it and you go back to graphical layout this is what displaying so why why is this showing up up, because right here this app symbol is referencing your resources and see uh, here's your resources it's going to values or which is str labeled strings we can open that up and we see there is the hello it's referencing string hello so most likely what this is the string hello is going to be saying is hello world my main so we go back up to the string XML hello 
this is the what it's referenced. This is its name, its ID. So when you use it in code, it's going to go to this file. This is what actually it holds within the file, the value of it, which is actually hello world my main. We can change it to this is just a string reference. And then we can um, again save it, close that. Still referencing that string hello, but now when we go to the graphical layout, this is what we type. This is the value of the hello reference. So yeah, you can either um, do it that way where you reference a string in your actual string value, uh, which is convenient for titles if you're working for a boss and he always changes the title. That way you don't have to look through thousands of lines of code to find that one title you're supposed to change. You can just go to your strings and then uh, set up a title. Um, yeah, so you can go to your strings. Um, we're just going to add a new one. Again, it's going to be string. String is basically words. We'll get into that later. We're going to say, we're going to label this as title. And we're going to say, um, this is the main title. Just save it. And then um, we can go back to our XML. And uh, we're going to reference it. So we're going to hit the at symbol. It is under the string. And title. So hopefully that should uh, not give us any errors. And what an error would look like if I if I reference it wrong. Okay, maybe it's not giving me an error message, but um, I'm just gonna make sure I do it right. And then when we go to the graphical layout, it'll be right there. All right, um, this is just real basic. I'll get into more in depth stuff in the next tutorial. This is just still getting uh, kind of some basic concept concepts.